man is slow, sloppy and a brilliant thinker, the machine is fast, accurate and stupid. I guarantee you that you will think twice about machines being stupid after watching this video. Get ready to get your mind blown like everyone who engages with this new technology. Computer may be clever, but human being are much smarter. Yeah, definitely not. ChatGPT is dominating the Twitter timeline and is by far the hottest topic in tech right now. Rightly so. The striking thing about the reaction to ChatGPT is not just the number of people who are blown away by it, but who they are. These are not people who get excited by every shiny new thing. Clearly, something big is happening. ChatGPT stands for Chat-Based Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. It's a powerful natural language processing tool developed by OpenAI. It is capable of generating human-like text based on a given input. Natural language processing lets virtual assistants like Siri and Alexa understand that when you ask them to play some rock, you're not asking Siri to pick up a guitar or start banging stones together, but to play some tunes. After playing around with it for the last few days, I quickly realized how being able to use it effectively will become a must-have skill. Prompt engineering in general, meaning knowing how to communicate to AI interfaces properly, will become really important in the coming years. In this video we will explore how ChatGPT and following tools will completely disrupt content creation and software engineering as we know it, and we also cover some of the dangers that it entails. One way it could be used by creatives is as a source of inspiration for writing. By providing a few seed sentences or keywords, ChatGPT can generate text that can serve as a starting point for a story, article or other written work. This is great because it can help writers overcome writer's block and kickstart their creative process. Here is an example of what this could look like. I told the AI that my followers are interested in self-sovereignty and asked for some potential video topics. The answer was fantastic. Exploring the history and origins of the concept, relationship between self-sovereignty and concepts such as personal autonomy, how modern technology affects it, role of government in that scenario, etc. What makes this even better is that ChatGPT remembers the whole thought process, or basically the whole thread of thoughts that you had with it back and forth, and this is really powerful. So next up, I asked if it could integrate Bitcoin in some of these suggested topics. And voila, I got five awesome subjects to talk about. Exploring ways in which Bitcoin allows individuals to take control over their own financial affairs, potential for financial inclusion, implications of Bitcoin in terms of privacy, control over one's personal data, new economic models based on decentralization and self-sovereignty, and the role of Bitcoin in promoting individual freedom and the growth of a self-sovereign society. If you can chat with an artificial intelligence for, say, a few minutes, and you can already get this level of inspirations out of it, that alone is worth a lot to me. And that's just the very small start of things. It gets way crazier. Another way that ChatGPT could be used by creatives is as a collaborator. By providing input and feedback, writers can use it to help them develop their ideas and expand on their work. It's just a great back and forth to explore ideas. Additionally, ChatGPT could be used by creatives as a way to experiment with language and style. You can use ChatGPT to generate text in different voices. This could be a useful tool for writers who are trying to develop a unique voice or who want to explore new writing styles. I'll give you an example on this as well. I asked the AI to write a scene where a Bitcoin maximalist argues with a central banker in the style of Tarantino. I won't read the whole thing, so here is the end of the scene. The central banker smirks and takes another sip of his martini. We'll see about that, he says. But mark my words, Bitcoin will never replace good old-fashioned fiat currency. It's just not possible. The maximalist grins and finishes his drink. We'll see about that, he says, as he stands up and walks out of the bar. The scene fades to black as the central banker watches him go, a worried look on his face. I mean, seriously, how can you not just have a wide smile on your face out of pure amazement? I've actually used GPT Chat a lot for this video. I had the idea about what I want to write about and how I want to connect the dots. And I let GPT Chat do some of the dirty work. Of course, with some fine tuning to make it fit my style and adding more thoughts of my own. This in my eyes is a revolutionary and disruptive approach to content generation or to content writing and creating in general. I believe the impact of this cannot be overstated. And we will talk about some of the dangers this brings later on in the video. But first of all, we need to talk about code, because so far that was just content. If you follow me for a while or watched my last video, you know that I balance myself between media creation, mostly videos, and coding, building applications. These are the two ways for permissionless leverage in the digital age. Let me show you how ChatGPT will disrupt software engineering. It seems to have taken over the entire internet, and in particular the entirety of my Twitter feed. 
and I'm getting a lot of questions, I'm seeing a lot of concerns, a lot of excitement, and honestly, after playing with it, I'm starting to understand why. Some of the examples I have seen are nuts. Things as crazy as converting a PHP app to Next.js just by pasting the code and telling GPT to do it. I've been incredibly impressed. I think that a lot of these tools are going to change how we do development. I don't think they're going to take away the need for developers though. Write JavaScript code that generates the Fibonacci sequence. And here is some code that creates a Fibonacci sequence, an example of how to use it. And one of the most interesting things is that it gives you like in-depth descriptions of why it did each of these things and details about them. What about the stuff I do every day? Like I need to go redo the nav bar on my website with Tailwind and React. Okay, uh, build me a navigation header for a web page using React, TypeScript, and Tailwind. The header should have three links, one to home, one to blog, and one to the about page. Let's start with that. It even has an SVG for the home. Fascinating. To use this header, you can simply import it into your React component. That's nuts. Shall we go throw this in an app and see how it looks? Have a stock, empty, create T3 app template with just Tailwind. Going to paste in the new header component. That actually looks phenomenal. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna look that good. And I can confirm this from my own experience. On my second channel, I made a video about how I build a full Next.js blog website within three hours with ChatGPT. 95% of the code is written by the AI. All blog posts are written by the AI. And even the title images and logo were generated by AI. In this case, I used Midjourney. When I talk about digital literacy, like in my last video, this is exactly what I mean. These are the tools you need to play with if you want to stand out. If you're good with computers, you can pretty much do anything. You just got handed a new insane tool which is free to use, at least for now. Understand it and you have an advantage, an arbitrage opportunity. Start wielding it in say two years and you are maybe average. Ignore it for the next five years and maybe you might have a problem. Speaking of problems. One potential downside of technologies like GPT-3 is that they can lead to a lack of critical thinking and creativity. Because they are able to generate text based on a set of inputs, it can make it easier for people to produce large amounts of content without having to put much effort or thought. This could lead to a situation where people rely too heavily on tools like these and as a result their own critical thinking and creative skills begin to deteriorate. Here's a great quote on this. The real danger is not that computers will begin to think like men, but that men will begin to think like computers. Another potential downside is that GPT-3 chat and other similar technologies can be used for nefarious purposes, such as generating fake news or impersonating others online, which can be harmful to individuals and, yeah, society as a whole. They are also not always correct. There are cases where the AI gives you a perfectly concise answer and it seems like the answer makes total sense, but it's just plain wrong. I saw a great example of this on Twitter, where someone asked the AI about the fastest marine mammal and it responded with the peregrine falcon, which is neither a mammal nor a marine animal. The prompter discussed the question with the AI for a while and it kept apologizing while at the same time confidently delivering more wrong answers. So as Bitcoiners say, don't trust, verify. This is still very important. And finally, there are concerns about the potential impact of these technologies on employment. And I get why. As these tools become more advanced and capable, they could potentially replace human workers in a variety of fields, leading to job losses and economic disruption. This is a concern that will need to be addressed as these technologies continue to develop and become more widely used. Previously, I used to say that, well, automation and AI is great, because we will get rid of all the mundane tasks to be freed and engage in creative works. But now it already becomes clear that creative work is totally in the ballpark of AI as well. Sure, it's just pattern matching basically, but human brains don't differ that much. Things we come up with are heavily influenced by things that we previously saw and experienced. I do, however, still have an optimistic viewpoint on the whole situation. As machines become more and more efficient and perfect, so it will become clear that imperfection is the greatness of man. I believe that the opportunities that we can generate from this are immense. You could even argue that ideas are more important than ever. How can you creatively integrate AI tools to provide value? 
I think that generalists who can combine various skills will absolutely thrive. Check out this video to learn why and how to become one.